I don't know why this circle is there. It wants to bear witness to this thrilling event. Stay back, fool! Raul, help me! Unhand your fiend! I shall tend to her later, but you, Monsieur, you have meddled in affairs for the last time! Prepare to die, Phantom! Yay! Sword fight! Oh no! Oh, what do I do? Oh my! Push cane! Let's see what happens. Is that how Raul looks? Oh my god, ew! Ah, I will attack you! Ah, and now I will take your mask. Because embarrassing you is the best way to solve it. Is that seriously what he looks like? Holy crap. You fool, now we'll both die! I'm <laughs> sorry, that makeup! <laughs> what the heck? That is the most unconvincing phantom makeup I have ever seen. Oh my god. Oh, and an epilogue. Yay. Ra Raoul? Monsieur Montand? Oh, look, Monsieur Brie! His eyes are opening! Dieu merci! Thank goodness! Raoul, are you alright? Where am I? You're in the Opera Library. You've had a bad fall, Monsieur Montand. Who are you? Why, I'm Christine Florent. We met earlier. Don't you remember? You poor man. Perhaps we should call the doctor. What year is this? What year? This is worse than I thought. Why, it's 1993. Just as it was when you fell from the catwalk. Go away and let me sleep. We will, but first we must make sure you're alright. Christine Florent, I thought you were dead. What? No, Monsieur, my body is quite warm and alive. I'm afraid you really must see the doctor. But you were strangled by the Phantom. The Phantom? My dear boy, you are delirious. I realize that many of my boyfriends don't come around much anymore, but I wouldn't call any of them phantoms. You must be Christine Daae, reincarnated or something. Christine Daae, wasn't she... She was the object of the Phantom of the Opera's desire. A singer with the opera, a hundred years ago. You must rest, Raoul. Why don't I go and fetch the doctor? Please do, Christine. As you can see, none of it ever happened. Take care, I'll be back. I didn't fall from the catwalk, the phantom pushed me! The phantom, eh? My dear boy, we haven't had a phantom here in over a hundred years. I think your reading that book has put too many images in your head. You haven't had any notes from the phantom? Notes? No, I have no notes from any phantom. You're imagining things, Raoul. Why don't you rest until the doctor comes? But he was here, I have his mask, and wait. Where are they? My dear Raoul, you are mistaken. Those items have been locked in that glass case for a century. Look! You glance over at the glass case and see that it is whole. Inside, you can see the phantom's mask, a small golden wedding ring, and a stack of sheet music entitled Don Juan Triumphant. Well, who caused the chandelier tragedy, then? What chandelier tragedy? The chandelier fell on the audience earlier tonight. <laughs> My dear boy, that bump on the head really has done a number on you. The chandelier is hanging from the ceiling where it has always hung for a hundred years. Go away and leave me alone. Very well. You rest. Christy and I will be back with the doctor soon. So, basically what happened is... There was no tragedy. Christine Florent is alive. You are perplexed. Was it a dream? It couldn't have been. It was too real. Wait. What about Madame Giry's book? You decide to check on what the book says about the Phantom's demise. Hmm. This is all very intriguing. We seem to have changed the past. You quickly turn to the last paragraph of the reads, Eric, the Phantom of the Opera, met his death along with the brave Raoul de Chagny in 1881, when the chandelier upon which the two men were fighting fell from the ceiling. Monsieur de Chagny was given a hero's burial, while well, the Phantom was buried in an unmarked part for his grave. But the artifacts were kept in the Opera Library for safekeeping. I do believe the world has heard the last of Eric, the Phantom of the Opera. 
at the beginning it says, I don't believe the world has heard the last of Eric the Phantom of the Opera. And he continues to read, The ending has changed. You quickly thumb through the book once again to make sure. What kind of trick have the forces of destiny played on you? You realize now that you somehow managed to save the life of not only Christine Daae, but Christine Florent. And as for the Phantom, he is gone forever. Hmm. Oh my! Or is he? <laughs> There's no such thing as chance, and what seems to us the merest accident springs from the deepest source of destiny. Johann Christoph Friedrich von Schiller, 1759 to 1805. You have achieved a score of 248 out of 250 possible points. That gives you the rank of star player. I didn't know I was being scored. I guess that's a good thing. Oh, and now the credits. I'll let you watch the credits. I thank you for coming on this journey with me down to the deepest catacombs of the Paris Opera House, up to the fly lofts and the chandeliers at the very top of the Opera House. It's been fun. It's been a crazy ride, fueled by H.R. Geiger, Des Jacques, and creepy men who want to molest ballerinas. Signing off, this is the Phantom Safety Pin, and I will see you when the next adventure begins. Hopefully sometime soon, I will give you a hint. Next time you see me, I'll be alone in the dark. Until then, I'll see you later.